Hello my friend, today I will tell you what is artisan. Artisan is really a word that means maker, right? So maker is somebody who makes things. And to be honest, in our situation, this thing can make stuff in your project. Like for example, new views, new resources, new routes, and so on. We're gonna learn how to do such things in future lecture. But in this lecture, Artisan is gonna be used to run your server, okay? You don't need to know how to do it. You just need to tell him to do it. And he gonna make it because that's why he's called Artisan. And as you can see, it says that we need to run the command php artisan serve. And in order to run it, we need to firstly, this is very important, be in the catalog that we have got our app. Right now, notice that we are in the catalog to-do list, not in the to-do app. So we need to change the directory using the command cd that stands for change directory and type to-do app. And now, only now, we can run our server using the command php artisan serve me, right? Serve me artisan. I want to run the server. And as you can see, it says that the server is now running under this IP. So we can do something like this. And as you can see, we have got our server with the default thing shown here, right? We can change this thing and we're gonna learn how to change it in the future lectures. But hey, it's running. It's cool, right? We run our server. However, this is very important. Now we can stop it using the control plus C. Don't you think that remembering something like this is not like good for you, right? Uh, we still need to remember how to run the server. And the cool thing is that we installed the extension that is called Artisan, mm, right? Let's find it. I don't know why they didn't find it. Maybe let's call Laravel. And yeah, Laravel Artisan. This is the thing that I installed and this thing that allows you to hit, for example, F1 in the Visual Studio Code. And now when we type artisan, as you can see, we can see all the things that he can do, he can make, all these things he can do, right? We're gonna learn a, a few of them, the most important ones. But here, as you can see, is start the server. So I can just click on it. And now it says, do I, need, uh, do I use a specific host? Mm, no, it's just on the local host. So enter. Uh, do you want to change the port? No, let's use the default one and let's just run it, right? And we didn't need to remember the command. So this is very different, right? Now we can run it definitely faster without having to remember how to run it. I really love Visual Studio for, uh, Code for that, okay? Because, and this extension, because, well, without it, I would need to always remember it. And really, I am just a human and I always forget it. <laughs> I need, I need to look up it uh, so, uh, after uh, so, some time. And now, as you can see, we are still running our server. But as you can see, it's not working because we need to now access it using the link that is here. So, like this. As you can see, it's working fine. In the next lecture, I will show you how to connect database with Laravel because, well, we need to store somewhere the data, right?